Sumo wrestling is a vicious sport that can result in serious injuries or even death to some wrestlers. Like this referee who gets knocked out of the dojo, leaving him unconscious. And there is this wrestler who wins a bout in just two seconds. But first, let's look at these two fighters who proved almost equal in strength. Number 10. Tosayo Taka vs. Toyo Hibiki in 2010 Sometimes in wrestling sports, you get two fighters who are equal in strength, and it becomes difficult to predict who might win the bout. And that is exactly what you're seeing in this image. During the Grand Summer Tournament in Tokyo's Yogoku Kogugikan Sumo Arena in May 2010, Tosayu Taka, who is on the right, met his equal, Toyo Hibiki. It took moments of push and pull until Tosayu Taka managed to throw Toyo Hibiki into the dirt. Tosayu Taka and Toyo Hibiki are among the retired legends of sumo we have today. The two rose to fame by winning bouts and ruthlessly causing injuries to their opponents. Like during the Osaka 2017 Juryo Division playoff, Toyo Hibiki threw his opponent Osu Narashi to the ground, leaving him with serious thigh injuries. But that does not mean that Toyo Hibiki was unbeatable. He was once shamed in January 2017 when he entered the ring against small-bodied Ura. Ura defended himself and managed to win over Toyo Hibiki with a thigh-grabbing pushdown, leaving Toyo Hibiki with injuries. Indeed, size does not matter in this game. Number 9. Sumo Referee KO'd Anytime a Japanese sumo wrestler warns you to keep your distance, you'd probably be advised to do as he suggested. And that's right, because you'll never know when the blow will hit you. Now, during a sumo bout between Baruto on the left and Wakakoyu on the right in January 2014, the referee of the match, or Gyoji as they refer to them, got KO'd mercilessly. The referee is seen sprinting to the side to check on the wrestlers. But Wakakoyo moves to the right next to him. Suddenly, Baruto pushes the 366-pound Wakakoyo down out of the dojo. Unfortunately, the Gyoji gets knocked down by the falling Wakakoyo. The Gyoji falls out of the ring and slams his head hard on the floor, leaving him unconscious. He couldn't rise up as he suffered a concussion and could not recall the incident. Luckily, after being attended to by paramedics, he got back to normal. Number 8. Ichinojo vs. Takakesho in 2021 In July 2021, Ichinojo on the left took on Takakesho in a much-awaited bout. But Ichinojo wanted to win the fight without much struggle, and so he started with a strong initial charge hitting Takakesho's neck area and locking him in position. But in the process of Takakesho trying to defend himself, he goes limp and Ichinojo notices the weakness. So he simply carries him gently out of the dojo, lying him by the shoulder. It is there that we get to realize that in fact Takakesho suffered a neck injury. His efforts to pull up from the ground remained futile even as he started shaking in pain. Takakesho was carried on a wheelchair out of the arena to the rest area for first aid. However, it seems Takakesho was seriously injured, so he was forced to withdraw from the tournament, and rested for a month before he returned during the September tournament. Luckily, he secured an 8-7 winning record, restoring his fast-fading glory. Number 7. Enho vs. Meisei in 2019 have you ever been injured and never realized it until moments later? Now this is a perfect case in point. In May 2019, on the 13th day of the tournament, Enho on the left was matched against Meisei. As the fight began, Meisei tactically grabbed Enho's arm after the initial charge. He then proceeded to hook Enho's leg ready for the throw, and sure enough, he pulled more strength to throw Enho to the ground. Look at how Enho lands awkwardly to his side, hurting his own leg. Enho thought it was just an ordinary throw until he tried to stand up, only to realize that he was seriously injured and that he couldn't support his weight. He suffered a right thigh injury and decided to limp out of the dojo. Although he did not withdraw from the tournament, he lost his last two bouts. The judges still had a tough time determining who touched down first, but after watching the replay, they agreed that Enho touched down first and therefore Meisei received the victory. Number 6. Kaisei vs. Ikkyoi in 2018 on the final day of the Osaka 2018 Sumo Tournament, or Basho as they call it, Kaisei was matched against Ikkyoi, who is on the right. Kaisei is coming to this Basho already sure that he will receive a Kanto Sho, a fighting spirit prize, regardless of the outcome of this bout, possibly because he had previously fought high-ranked people. But for Ikkyoi to receive the same prize, he has to win this Basho. 
So, as you can see, the burden rests with Ikioi, and he has to put in a lot of effort to receive the Kanto Sho. Even as Ikioi prepares for this uphill task, he has no idea what kind of injury awaits him. The bout begins pretty well, with Ikioi approaching with a full charge, but Kaisei simply twists him down, forcing him to land on his shoulder, even as he pins him down with his weight. Ikioi is left with injuries and has also lost this basho. Well, he'll have to live to fight another day, but on this one, Ikioi had no other option but to concede defeat. Number 5. Tochinoshin vs Enho in 2020 Here comes Enho again on the right, ready to take on Tochinoshin on the left during the January 2020 Basho. With a weight difference of about 70 kilos between the two fighters, Enho, who is on the low end, has a really difficult task to win this Basho. On the other hand, Tochinoshin, who is a non-Asian, is coming into this bout intending to stop Enho, which may not be an easy task for him considering he's a foreigner. And soon after the referee gives the go-ahead, Tochinoshin dives into Enho and firmly plants his legs on the dohyo. He proceeds to take a double-hand outside grip while Enho maintains a double-hand inside grip. Tochinoshin takes advantage of this power position to lift Enho, who seems uncomfortable. Enho, who is now powerless, is left with no option but just swing his legs about like a baby before Tochinoshin throws him out of the dohyo into the crowd. What an achievement for the Georgia-based Tochinoshin! Number 4. Takayasu vs Teruno Fuji in 2021 Another incredible basho that ended in injuries is the September 2018 tournament between Takayasu on the left and Teruno Fuji on the right. As soon as the fight begins, the two lock up and struggle for some time to gain their rightful position. They remain still with bending knees as they wait for the right moment. Suddenly, Teruno Fuji puts his forehead on Takayasu's shoulder, getting a better grip, and now he's in a better position. But Takayasu can't accept being overpowered, so he tries to push out Teruno Fuji. However, Teruno Fuji remains still and gets a right hand outside grip. He throws Takayasu outside the dojo, causing him to land awkwardly on the deck with his hip. He tries to wake up, but he is in deep pain and can't do it on his own. After a moment of rest, he stands up on his own and gets to the dojo to submit before dragging himself off. With such a hip injury, Takayasu had no other option but to just withdraw from the tournament to allow himself to heal. Number 3. Aoyama vs Chiyono Kuni in 2013 The fifth day of the July 2013 Basho was the moment for Aoyama on the left to meet with Chiyono Kuni and the dojo. But looking at how the two men are charging themselves, perhaps the least you'd expect is to see one of them leaving with injuries. I mean, they look almost equal in physique and strength. As the referee gives the two men an OK, Chiyono Kuni starts on a high note, charged and ready to outpace Aoyama. He pushes Aoyama to the edge to get him out of the ring, but to no avail. Aoyama managed to fight back and in the process, Chion no Kuni threw him off the ring from a squat position. But Aoyama, who is a bit heavier than his opponent, leaves him injured due to the huge weight. Though he won the match with an incredible throw, Chion no Kuni really injured himself, and he is now left with a ligament injury. Look at how he struggles to overcome the deep pain. He gets overwhelmed by the injury and can't walk. He is carried out of the ring, where he receives the victory before he is placed on a wheelchair for special attention outside the arena. Number 2. Masashi Kuni vs Tommy Sakai in 2017 Whether you'll want to feel sorry or excited about this next bout is something we can debate, but at the end of the day, this basho goes down in history as one of the most incredible and super-fast wins. When Tommy Sakaya Gyutaro entered the circle against Musashi Kuni Mamu on the left in January 2017, he never anticipated that the bout would end in just two seconds, but that's exactly what happened. A moment after the fight started, the two fighters rushed in to show their dominance, but Musashi Kuni destroyed Tommy Sakaya with a single smash in the face, sending him crashing to the floor. Tommy Sakaya didn't realize the impact of the blow until he attempted to regain his footing and realized he couldn't remain upright. He was assisted out of the dojo. This brutal knockout goes down in history as one of the quickest victories in sumo wrestling. Number 1. Kakuryu vs Ichi Nojo in 2019 When the only option left is to win, you can go the extra mile to secure one. And sure enough, Kakuryu on the left entered the circle against Ichi Nojo in September 2019 with one goal, and that was to stay undefeated on the final match of Day 4 of the tournament. Just after the fight starts, the two charge in, and Kakuryu manages to sidestep before pulling Ichinojo forward and throwing him outside the circle. 
the £450 Ichinojo falls and lands on his shoulder with a thud. The impact was indeed huge, leaving Ichinojo with a right shoulder injury which forced him to withdraw from the tournament. Thanks for watching.